What's up, y'all? We here live with Dark Stranger. And <laughs> we're here live in St. Martin with Dark Stranger. Everybody say, hey, Dark Stranger. <laughs> All right, so Dark, where did your name come from? Honestly, my name, the one and only body gave my dad's name. Okay. So who was your biggest inspiration? In dancing, I've had so many. I don't like to, you can only learn with so much from one person. So I like to take bits and pieces from different people um, that I come in you know, contact with. I'm like a sponge. So if I see some greatness in you, I'm still some of that greatness and try to make it better. Exactly. You know, so of course, you know, body, you know, we like family. Or we family, basically. My, family. my kids play with his kids, my family is family. We just, you know, so he took care of me, he took me in. When I didn't want to go to school, I had a safe haven. <laughs> you know, he, but nah, that's my man. He, you know, but he definitely brought me in the game, taught me a lot. And here I am now, a couple years later. Okay, so all your fans want to know, single or single? <laughs> that's the answer. Giggles. <laughs> I'm single. Okay, single. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color. I love black. I love white. I'm a pretty basic, I'm a plain guy. You know, I don't like nothing much bad again. I just like, I'm a real late person, so I like to be a bad What's your favorite food? Uh, see, now I'm dieting, so <laughs> I don't really have a favorite food. Uh, I like chicken. I'm a breakfast food kind of guy. Uh, but now I'm perfecting the art of cooking. Okay. So I like to try a lot of different a lot of different recipes. So I'm not a big baker, but I am a big, um, I guess, I'm a risk taker when it comes to food. Okay. I like to put flavors that's not supposed to traditionally go together, I like make them go together. So be on the lookout. Chef Dark Stranger coming Chef to the Sydney. Okay, we got it. Private parties and cooking at the same damn time. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever had a performance where the person that came on stage didn't have such a first game. Damn. How well, do you handle it? Oh, you gonna zoom up on me in that? <laughs> How do I handle it? Well, for one, I don't go down here. Um, when I dance, I focus on dancing and not on how I can get a chick and do 20,000 moves on her. That's not what majority of ladies pay for. Um, if I'm doing a cake, then yeah, but I don't, you know, I'm not a pull-out dancer. If you wanna see me pull out, book me for a private party. But uh, I just really focus on dancing. Um, but if I can smell you and I didn't even do anything to you, then I just smack in your ass and send you about your way. And I just leave it at that. Nice way to handle it. All right, well just let us know about North Carolina versus the world. Uh, well, North Carolina versus the world, this is the seventh annual North Carolina versus the world. Every year it gets bigger, it gets better. And uh, as of right now, the only show you'll be able to see at the Coliseum as big as the one in Greensboro, it's a major coliseum. Um, over 50 dancers, um, you know, over a thousand ladies. It's a whole weekend event. I mean, basically, when we first did this show, it was just a one-day show, and then we, um, and then ladies was like, "This is so much fun, dog. We want to stay longer." And I said, "Okay, we're back." You know, so next year we did it, and we had a cookout the next day, and ladies were like, dark. We need more. This shit is so fun. Put some more events together. So basically, North Carolina is basically now what ladies wanted to be all along. You know, they, you know, they kind of give me constructive criticism, and you know, me and my team we take that and you know we try to put together something that ladies can really appreciate because this dance game can get monotonous, and a lot of ladies can't see through the, you know, can't see through the lines as far as when a dancer, like the dancer's real personality. So what North Carolina Rooster wrote, what it allows them to do is it allows them to hang out with the dancer in their original form. So instead of Dark Stranger, you're gonna hang out with Greg for a couple days, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch, I'm gonna go on a telephone booth and switch into Dark Stranger, and the superhero's gonna come out, and that's a whole different person. But at least for a couple of days, you'll be able to see Greg in action, and you can fall in love with Greg, and then, then you can fantasize about Dark Stranger. So that's basically what we try to give the ladies with each dancer. We want you to be able to see that dancer um, as a person and then see him as a dancer. And then you can identify yourself with those guys. And actually you may find a new favorite dancer or find 
more dances that you're actually into because they're such good, you know, people outside of the dance game. So what North Carolina Rest of the World basically is, is it's an outlet for ladies to, you know, it's like a pretty much a weekend vacation, you know, just a little getaway in North Carolina. And, uh, you know, I think, well, I know for a fact it's worth it or I wouldn't be doing it. Um, so it's one of my biggest shows. And actually, I'm just glad I'm, I'm a part of it. You know, we give ladies food, uh, bowling. I mean, from Friday to Sunday, straight activity. So Friday, we got an all black, a blackout pool party. Uh, then Friday after that, we got a karaoke uh, challenge. And then at midnight, we got midnight bowling. Saturday we got the show and then the after party, the all white after party at the hotel, big ballroom, hosts 1300 ladies. Oh, well, I'm sorry, 1300 is the capacity. So don't wait, get your tickets at www.nc. You see, you got to put the line on the screen when you do this. So I'm going to do a little bouncy ball. www.ncvstheworld.com. Don't forget it, ncvstheworld.com. Or you hit me up, call me, 704 819. 3794 if you want more information. Alright, and then Sunday, that's the world famous cookout and it's hosted by the one and only Centerfold. He is the life of the party. I cannot do the cookout without Centerfold because he will imitate your favorite dancer and make you laugh. Alright, so if you don't come to nothing else, come to the show and the cookout. Alright, because you got to see Centerfold in the, you know, uh, impersonate your favorite dancer and he's going to get me as well. This shit's going to be funny, but also, one of the new additions to NC vs. the World is Battle of the Sexes. We will have obstacle courses out there. And ladies, we're actually going to have trophies. And we're going to award the a whole team trophies for first, second, and third. All right? So come out there with your sneakers and get ready to get wet and dirty. All right? It's going to be worth it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Bring your cameras because this shit is going to be true. It's going to be true TV. All right? So I'm going to see y'all July 27th through the 29th. North Carolina vs. the World, 7th Annual, hosted by yours truly, Dark Stranger. All right? It's going, it's going down. It's live in July. Thank you so much, Dark Stranger. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs>